Breaking news, breaking news, this just happened today and it was massive because there were small earthquakes but in quantity in Chile. Chile monitors volcanic field after seismic swarm causes 160 quakes in two hours. Warning. I'm talking about this one on Chile because it's another one, as I said to you. It's another one to add to the to the thing. This shows, and I read everything about it and I researched it more, that this activity of 160 earthquakes in two hours was... Come on, in two hours, one hour is 60... 60 minutes so two hours 120 minutes it's more than one quake per minute it's massive and what they are saying is that they studied this all this region and it's increasing it's picking up that activity and it shows that the lava of the volcano is kind of preparing to explode it's what they say it's what they say here the volcanic complex located about 300 kilometers, so 190 miles, south of the capital, near the Argentine border, is a vast 193 square miles area, it's gigantic, with volcanic domes, cones and lava flows with an estimate 130 volcanic vents. So it's a very important region in volcanic activity. They are warning. They are warning. And this adds to the thing, not only on the United States coast, Oregon coast. I made a video about it. But on Japan as well, I made a video about it. This is serious because today I read again they are not only the news were that on japan they were implementing a warning for uh, a new tsunami event that will happen almost for sure in a, a range of 10 to 20 years that's their forecast a big one a mega quake and then a mega tsunami it will be devastating however I think it was yesterday or two days ago that uh, Japan um, gave a, a step further on that matter. I mean, they not only have that plan, but they have a second plan now to educate everybody on Japan, so the population of Japan. And I think they do it right. It's the way to do it to educate them, to prepare themselves, every single family, for that kind of event. Because right now they have a plan for the country, but it's for the country, and they warn, but people keep moving with their lives. You know how it works. We have that impact, oh, we get scared, and then move on, and we forget everything. I don't. I don't. I will do a video about this. I will do a, a video about this. I have this uh, solar power generator that will allow me to have water guarantee because I need a pump to, to push the water. Fridge, different stuff. This will be charged by a solar panel that I have right here. A solar panel that it's portable. I chose the portable one to charge my generator. It's silent, it's silent, so it's important because nobody will know that you have it. And it can be used inside the home, indoors. While the common generators uh, with uh, gasoline, they can't be used inside, uh, indoors because of those gases, you know. However, and they are very noisy, if you, turn on a generator with gasoline, they will uh, call or draw the attention of other people. And we don't know what, what kind of disaster we will live first, if any strong one during our lifetime. I believe that we, we will, 
even that we don't, I'm prepared for that and this will be a prepping for next generations as well. You see, transferring knowledge and awareness to the, the generations that will come. And this will allow me, this, with, uh, this will charge, this will uh, allow me, I had two massive uh, power outages half a day without any electricity I didn't have this now we can have a, a third one that I will not be without water uh, warm water as well and many other stuff that I need to to have during a power outage I've, I'm feeling I'm doing this slowly I'm preparing for any event that can search but especially and this is my bet it's only a bet the next solar cycle, I think it will be much stronger. I think we will have the magnetic field of the Earth even weaker than we have today. If today with the solar cycle 25, we have we had a strong impact of coronal mass ejections, of plasma hitting the Earth, that they weren't uh, to, to provide such a, an event on Earth, those auroras on lower latitudes, disruptions, electronic disruptions, everything, they were not supposed to provide that because we had a strong magnetic field protecting us. They provided stronger effects because our Earth magnetic field is weaker. And I believe the pattern is that, I believe that in the next cycle we will be following it closely. The sun will always be here, so if you enjoy the sun, subscribe because I will always track the sun, always here. And if we will have in a few years a weaker magnetic field and a stronger solar cycle, it will be dangerous. It will be dangerous. Run to the hunter. They said these are signs that the volcano is active. It has magma. What's inside is moving and this can lead to a moderate sized event in the future. But when? We don't know. Earthquake. 3.0 on... Precisely on Chile. And you can see here that, that I was talking about. You can see here. These are the last moments only on this. Uh, I don't add uh, all the earthquakes. These are the recent ones. And you can see that it keeps adding more earthquakes. And now they are stronger. 3.2, 3.3. They are getting stronger. We will see what happens. But there's a, a massive risk there. <laughs> 